General installation of the Platform I.O. requires an external editor. First of all, Platform I.O. is not a standalone development system, but it's just like a kind of the middleware, actually a kind of the manager that integrates an editor, libraries, hardware, and software development kits. And as you see on this picture, somewhere between the editor and uh, software development kits um, dedicated for the particular uh, hardware platform, uh, like an Arduino, and Raspberry Pi, uh, Espressif, and so on and so on. So first of all, you need to install Editor. I'm choosing the Visual Studio Code. It's a free version, so just download the installer for your platform. Follow the installer guide. And after a couple of uh, seconds, uh, you're ready. When you launch it for the first time, you need to install Platform I.O. So go to the extensions and type Platform I.O. Uh, just use IDE, not a core, but IDE. Uh, installation may take a couple of minutes, depending on your uh, performance of your system. Um, but in any case, you need to reload it later on. And when it's ready, it should start. And you should see on the screen, like a uh, front page. Of course, it, is, it installs some dependence like uh, C++ compiler and uh, related environments, so it will take a time. Uh, installing uh, Platform I.O. ED uh, requires installing the core, which is done under the hood right now, and it is a really long process, so uh, afterwards you have to restart Visual Studio. And when it's all ready, you should see this AND on the left-hand side at the bottom, and it should start up when you boot up uh, your Visual Studio code. And then you need to just switch into the platforms and install the software development kits. Here I do it for Arduino, ESP32 and ESP8266, but there are many more like, for example, STM, uh, Raspberry Pi and even desktop platforms. Uh, again, installation takes a time, so we will have a notification. It is asynchronous, so you can click to install many of them and just wait uh, for the uh, reports that particular platform has been installed. It takes really, really a uh, dozen of minutes, uh, particularly ESP32 is a long installing process. When it's ready, you will see here all the platforms. Now we can see that I have connected Node MCU. It's an A266 um, uh, 12E and I don't have a driver. So uh, if your machine doesn't install the driver automatically for Windows update, then you can just go into the Silicon Labs, download the installer, extract it, click your 32 or 64-bit uh, version here, 64, install the driver and you should see in your driver manager it's done and the COM port is free here. Now to refer to this one, uh, you need to restart the Visual Studio because it comes for the COM port and the boot time. So um, then once it's ready, you will need to create your new project. It's in Hello World. Mind you need to select the appropriate platform here. It's uh, Node MCU. And you can see the different um, uh, language platforms here. I'm using Arduino. Again, creating a process is time consuming, so just be patient. When it's done, you click into the source. You choose the main C++, which is just like a regular Arduino code composed of the setup and the loop. So here the built-in LED is uh, pin number two. We are going to flash it like every single second is on and then off. And you compile it by clicking at the bottom this uh, mark. And when it's been successfully compiled, then you need to upload it by clicking this arrow right, also at the bottom on this uh, bottom bar. Like here, uploading is uh, also not very quick. It depends on the size of your file and uh, the speed of your COM port. When it's done, you can see it works by the blue flashing LED. Now let's extend our code a little just to see how the serial port works. So initiate the serial communication, just send some hello world, just to know that the setup is finished and then we'll send a plus every single loop. So again, compile. Upload. 
And then you need to click this um, uh, plug icon. It's like a serial monitor. Oops, I click it, uh, console, the serial monitor. You can see the serial monitor is working for you. So it uh, shows you the result and that is flashing. Thanks for watching.